Hi everybody, welcome back to My Bonsai, and today we're going to see if we can germinate a bristlecone pine. Uh, this is one of the species that, that lives longer than just about anything on the planet, uh, somewhere around 5,000 years. But look them up online, they're very interesting. Alright, so for any of you that are interested in trying to grow one of these, uh, this comes from the Johnson's Company, and they're in uh, McKinleyville, California, which... Uh, can't be too far away. Uh, I'm going to guess down south. These trees come from the White Mountains down Southern California. Anyway, I will uh, try to put a link in the description if you want to buy this kit. It's not bad. It's maybe it's like 10, 11 bucks. Here's the little instruction booklet which gives you step by step on how to grow the tree or at least how to germinate it we'll set that aside for right now and here's our here's our seeds we got uh, five of them so I think probably uh, I'll maybe start a couple of them and if it doesn't it doesn't work because this is going to take a while and then we'll be looking into the fall so maybe kind of the wrong time of year it'd be better to do this in the springtime so i will save some of these seeds for the spring and we'll try again in the spring okay set them aside for right now and this is the little bit of soil they give you to plant in This seems like uh, perlite to me, but I'll have a look at it. All right, I'm going to go rinse this out and uh, let's get some water. All right, it says step one first, remove the clear top cap from your mini greenhouse and empty the bag of soil into the bottom. So, okay, let's do that. We've already removed the caps, so we're ahead of the game on there. Step two, gently add water until the soil is well saturated. We've got the soil soaked, and that really soaked up a lot of soil. I think this is a peat moss, sphagnum peat moss or something that's been ground up real fine or whatever. And next step, it says time to sow your seed. Carefully open your little bag of seeds. It says pour all the seeds into the mini greenhouse right on top of the wet soil. Sowing multiple seeds gives you a greater chance of success. Well, that makes sense, but uh, pretty sure my chances are equally as good if I plant one or if I plant five uh, for each individual seed anyway. So I think I'm gonna just try two and then, uh, like I said, if my year is, or like I said, if my time of year is off, then I will be able to try again going into the spring. Oh. So, chopstick is always a handy tool here. So, I'm gonna kind of spread them out just a little bit and sort of just lightly push it into the soil so it's in good contact with it. Not trying to poke it into the soil really, but just where it's flush. It says, now open the pouch of white pebbles. Okay, step six. Pour all the pebbles evenly over the seeds and soil, then place the top cap of your mini greenhouse. And, I mean, this makes good sense. A lot of times growing other stuff, I will use perlite and uh, just poke a hole in the ground, put the seed in it, and then pour perlite on top of it. And then you can see where you planted the seed. Although sometimes if you're not careful, if you're watering, it'll wash this stuff away. But, and if you see something sprout up where the perlite is, you know you're in the right spot. 
Okay, now step seven says, now you're ready to play a little trick on your seeds, um, imitating nature and process called cold stratification. Place your mini Gregan house into the refrigerator and leave it there for 20 days. Time in the cold, damp environment of the refrigerator provides a kind of winter for your seeds, which prepares them for germination. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that for right now. And we will come back in 20 days. All right, guys, guess what? It's been uh, eh, eight days since I took my bristlecone pine now out of the refrigerator. And look what we have here. It looks like it's germinated already. And uh, I checked it this morning and it was not visible at all. And it looks like maybe we got eh, half an inch of growth. Uh, that seems really fast, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't see it this morning. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video and we'll see how this thing progresses.